I haven't pooped yet. True story. Hey friends, it's Aki Dears, and welcome everybody to another episode of the Otaku Monthly Favorites, where every month I introduce you guys to different anime, different manga, and anime and otaku related things that I've been introduced to within that given month. I really hope by the end of this video that you guys will take some sort of suggestions to help pass the time while we're all in quarantine until the end of time. So just to kick this off, why don't we just start off with some anime? This might be the first time that I ask this on this channel, but does anyone have any anime recommendations? Because I know this is going to disappoint some people, but I just feel like that this year is so lackluster. I have not been hyped up for like any series whatsoever. Well, except for Attack on Titan, which let's hope that the coronavirus does not postpone that one like they did with ReZero Season 2. I feel like I have to knock on wood after saying that. Honestly, I probably should just speed up right now on Boku no Hero. As long as nobody suggests One Piece, no, no more One, one Piece. piece. No, no more, more. Stop, stop suggesting it to me. I'm not gonna watch that sh So with all that being said, I have been watching some anime films and I've decided to take it to a very basic level by re-watching some Ghibli films. One of the films we, re we re-watched was Princess Mononoke, which by this point, do I need to explain it? Because if I'm not the one pushing it, the rest of the community is doing it. So go watch that if you haven't. My number one favorite will always be Nausicaa. It was the first Miyazaki film that I had ever watched that is technically not Ghibli, but it's a, like an adopted child of Ghibli. And second to that is Spirited Away, and the third next to that is actually another Ghibli film that I've watched, which is called When Marnie Was There. Now, this one I don't see a lot of people talking about. I shared this on my channel a really, really long time ago, but getting into it, When Marnie Was There, if you haven't heard of it, it's about a young girl who goes to the countryside to visit some relatives of hers, and during her stay there, she encounters this girl named Marnie, who is not exactly real, but she's real at the same time. It's very hard to explain it in a video right now, but when you watch it and when you get to the ending, it is definitely one of the most emotional endings I've seen for a Ghibli film. And I know that is a big stretch to say in the whole spectrum of Ghibli films, but you know what? I showed that film to Joey and I've never seen him cry at a film, but he <laughs> cried like a baby by the end of when Marnie was there. And also the ending song is beautiful and fantastic. Overall, what I'm trying to get at is rewatch some Ghibli films if you're trying to pass the time because why not? There is so many good classics that I'm sure none of you have even seen yet. But if you guys want a complete list and you guys want to watch them, the full Studio Ghibli catalog is newly available for digital download to own in the United States and Canada. And films are available to purchase in both English and Japanese languages on all major platforms. I have to thank G Kids for sponsoring this video as well because all theaters are closed down. Studio Ghibli has now made it available for people to watch and download all of the Ghibli films. So go do it. Now that was for the anime. Now let's dive into some manga. So our first manga here today is A Man and His Cat. This is made by Umi Sakurai and it is published by the well-known manga publishing company Square Enix. Sometimes you forget that Square Enix publishes manga and something that looks like this. You wouldn't imagine Square Enix, but they have it on there. So I'll, I'll link everything that I mentioned down below. But anyways, so this is about a man and his cat. It's a very pure and wholesome story of a lonely elderly man who tries to fill in the empty void that, you know, his wife is gone and his family is gone, so he adopts a cat. And they share bonds with each other because this cat has also waited for a very long time in a pet store to be adopted. Throughout the story, you see things from both the man's and the cat's perspective and get ready for what seems like a never-ending stream of cat puns throughout this whole thing. The sad truth about my life is that I will never know the joys of having a cat or a dog because I'm allergic to most fur. But reading this, it was still very heartwarming, but there are scenes in here that I feel would have really touched me more if I owned a pet. And also given how this all played out at the end, it seems like that this might be a one-shot manga, regardless that it says one right here. That might be implying that there might be more volumes coming out, but I could not find any other volumes of this possible series online. So if you guys find this book, you can take it as a one-shot if you will. Now there is a second manga that I recommend to you guys. However, I'm only doing this because I want someone out there to be willing to take the time to read this series 
and tell me what the hell happened and what their honest opinions were of this. This is called PTSD Radio. Hey guys, future Aki interrupting here because I feel like I didn't convey my feelings and thoughts about this manga as well as I would have liked to. And so here I go. I still do recommend PTSD Radio, especially to those of you that like the feeling of what the hell did I just read. Uh, mind you, I have read this twice in my life because of that. And don't get me wrong, the art is a solid 10 out of 10. I think that's what grabs most people when they do see the screenshots of this manga. However, the story, mind you, I feel kind of just goes all over the place and doesn't really connect as well as the author would have liked it to. It just kind of felt like that there were some bits and pieces and bullet points that were really creepy and that were perfect for a horror manga, but when it all came together, a lot of it didn't really make sense to me. So I am recommending this to anybody out there who wants to give it a shot, or for anyone that's already read it, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, because I will probably read this a third time just to get the gist of what's going on here. But overall, it is a creepy manga, but I wouldn't necessarily say it's a scary manga. So that was all the anime and manga for this series. I do have an anime figure I guess I could show you guys. I got Conti from Fully Cooly, and Fully Cooly's great. That's a series that I've said a million times on this channel that you guys should watch. I still haven't found room for that figure. Probably won't until I get rid of my Kingdom Hearts, which God knows that's never gonna happen, so I'm, I'm doomed. Other than that, my quarantine has just been taken up with Animal Crossing. I easily have over 200 hours put in, and I might showcase my island to you guys uh, in one of my future videos but I'll let you guys know. But yeah, hopefully you guys are hanging in there. Honestly, my personal life hasn't really changed that much from what it was before, but I know some people are kind of slowly losing their minds. But don't worry, you 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 can do this. Mama Aki is here with you and you can just hit subscribe and watch my video. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Stay safe everybody. Wash your hands and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!